Hi everyone, welcome to Morningstar Reborn Nursery. I have another exciting box opening of the Maddie Sculpt by a Russian artist. Uh, it's pretty exciting. I'll have the details of the sculptor and the artist in the below the YouTube comment section. But let's get underway. Uh, I really love the Maddie Sculpt. She's really nice and chubby. <laughs> She's about a six to nine month old toddler and she seems to be pretty much in vogue right now in the Reborn Doll collector's circles. So let's pull out that massive box, hey? Oh, all right. So here you can see all the way from Russia. Oh, wow. I love this. This is really unique. I've, I've never received a doll in a... Oh, in a uh, patchwork quilt before that's beautiful I found a lot of artists from Russia tend to um, have a lot of you know kind of handmade details and things that are, are that that people in um, more Western countries don't usually do like maybe hand handmade dresses or you know, just little personal touches that we don't have here. There's a, a lot of wonderful doll artists in Russia and, and the, the, the fine arts are very much um, appreciated there. So anyway, this is the beautiful quilt. Wow. Okay, I seem to have her upside down. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, wow. She's a big girl. Heavy. <laughs> but I like heavy dolls. Okay. Oh, wow. This is just so beautiful as well. This, um, the detail of this dress, you know, you can see the smocking. And this is so soft. I'm already impressed. Okay. Woo. <laughs> wow. She's so cute. Oh, she has very soft hair. It's a little bit fine. Okay. Oh, she's gorgeous. Look at this. <laughs> she's so chubby. Such a chubby girl. So beautiful. I love her glass eyes. Aren't you beautiful? Sorry. Welcome to the world, little Maddie. She's so gorgeous. My goodness. I love, the, I love the chubby, smiling face, you know, and the beautiful glass eyes. I'm pretty stoked, actually. So, and one, another thing I love about this sculpt is the, the chubby arms and legs. I'm a, I'm a, little, um, a little bit surprised because in the photos, um, she, was, she had more hair. So I assume maybe... The artist didn't send the doll in the photo, which is a little disappointing. But, you know, love the one you're with is my motto. And she's still very beautiful. She has a beautiful um, kind of realistic way she's been painted. And you can see, like, she has really beautiful eyebrows, really finely painted. She doesn't... I'm not a fan of that kind of really dull, dull, dull... Uh, way of painting that makes them look more like a doll or like a, a woman with makeup on. Okay. Yeah, she is a big girl. Let's, let's pull her out of this. Okay. So I found this artist on, uh, on a Facebook group. Normally I wouldn't buy from Facebook groups. But this woman, um, Irina, I believe her name is, she, she has, you know, quite a few sales and, um, you know, she was pretty reliable. It's always good to, especially if you're a beginner, beginner to go through Etsy or eBay, because then you have, or at least PayPal, um, not friends and family option, because then you're protected. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I love this cloth diaper. And she has the most wonderful um, chubby arms. I should turn around this way so you can see her, hey? <laughs> she, 
she's so cute i love look at the chubby legs man the legs go on for days that's a major chub oh you're such a cutie pie where can we we'll prop up your head more yeah she's such a beautiful girl and those oh her arms look at those chubby what do you call those rolls of fat so beautiful such a chubby girl oh my goodness i feel so lucky she's truly beautiful wow okay so i bought her a beautiful um knitted this kind of thing you can find on etsy a beautiful knitted onesie so it goes so beautifully welcome to the world little girl so I'm going to call her Rose. Ugh. And I've been waiting on her for a while. She's just gorgeous. Look at those. Look at the details of her hands. A bit hard to see in this light. But, you know, she has everything a good, a good uh, doll should have. Just maybe. She's a little bit thin in the rooting, the hair rooting department. But, um, you know, a lot of babies actually do have not so much hair, so I might just have to live with that. She actually looks a lot like me when I was a baby. I had blue eyes and brunette and very chubby. <laughs> so she's a beautiful girl. That's my dog groaning. Greyhounds sleep a lot, which is cool. And when they're awake, they're fun. So this is her beautiful outfit, which I think suits her very much. And I actually did, as I normally do, quite a lot of nesting and shopping um, for this baby over the months that I was waiting. And a lot of it I did at op shops so I thought I'd show you the haul but to do that I might need to just uh, widen the camera angle a bit so sorry about the light oh dear Sorry about this. I'm just learning these kind of technical issues. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so I, I also have a Kathy doll, um, which is about a two or three year old, and I really enjoy shopping for her. So I got some, I found some beautiful dresses with a unicorn theme. Who's so cute? She's such a cute doll. Um, this one I love. This is from Bardo. It's actually a bit big to see. <clears throat> and this also is from Bardo. <laughs> Okay, and this is from an op shop, which I just find so gorgeous. It looks like it's it's double sided. Nice stitching along the bottom. This is one of my favorites. This is like a handmade peasant dress from a brand called Shorties. Really retro style cloth. Beautiful. I love the details and the puff sleeves. Um, and 
this is another kind of flannelette, I guess, dress. Beautiful cloth. Some kind of poppy. This is a beautiful little one from like a kind of roadside boutique for a newborn. Overalls from the op shop. Beautiful. This is something uh, made of corduroy, which I just love. It's very similar to the one that little Gracie's wearing now. I mean, Rose. <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to her name. I love this colour. As you can see, I'm wearing this colour. And this is for a much older child, but I just couldn't resist. So there you go. It's a skirt, ballerina style. I used to do ballet as a child. Not that I was particularly good at it, but I did it. <laughs> so my goodness, I did a lot of shopping, both new and secondhand. And I'm absolutely stoked by this beautiful doll and this lovely, uh, quilt and the outfit she came in so I just need some time to bond with her yes sweet girl yeah she's lovely she's a lovely girl so I wonder if you guys have any Maddies or toddlers and if you do I don't know if you can share photos in the comments I also have a morning star nursery Facebook page if you want to share um, in the comments your uh, photos of your Maddie and what they look like. I've seen some beautiful biracial Maddies and some toddlers because once you get into the larger dolls they're really um, they're really quite different you know they're uh, I don't know they're just a bit more animated not quite as peaceful as the sleeping newborns and um, not everybody likes them, but some people really get into them, especially when you can, you know, play with their hair. And there, there's a lot more variety in, in clothes you can dress them in, 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 in toddlers, I found. So I enjoy both um, newborns and toddlers. It seems like I'm giving, a, uh, not, I'm selling a few of my toddlers to make way for new dolls that I bought recently. So if you're interested to see um, some of the dolls from my collections that I'm selling, just watch out for the next video and um, yeah if you have any questions on where to get dolls uh, eBay Etsy dollfan reborns.com with an S um, are all good places for beginners um, Renee Max Stevie's Reborn Nursery um, Caroline silicone on uh, on Etsy, Tori's Tori doll for small silicone dolls. Um, these are all kind of places to get mid-range reborns or silicone dolls. And um, as you get more familiar in the reborn community, you'll see, you know, the artists that are um, very well known, very expensive. Like uh, one of my favorites is um, Anna Shiva. She does amazing biracial dolls, but. You know, one doll is about three thousand US dollars, and that's a reborn, not a silicone. So that's kind of out of my reach. Um, but I really love her dolls, and uh, there's there's other you know doll artists as well. Um, and you just have to kind of look at prototype artists, high end artists, Facebook pages, and artists posting their work. There's a lot of good unknown artists who are um, really talented. And if you are interested in biracial dolls, um, beautiful ethnic reborn dolls, beautiful ethnic reborns, it's called on Facebook, is a good place to see some um, some artists who do black and biracial babies. But there's so many um, wonderful artists out there, and uh, there's a there's a price range for everybody. So, and some some uh, artists have payment plans which allow you to, um, you know, put away a little bit of money every month towards your dream doll. So 
I hope you're happy. I hope you're coping well with in these challenging times. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want me to do a particular kind of video, uh, within reason, of course, um, or you have some questions, some topic you want me to discuss, I'm, I'm open to doing that. I'm, I'm, I haven't been making videos for about a year because I've moved and I've had some major health issues. And, you know, I was in lockdown in Australia. It, it was a pretty depressing time. But I'm back in action. So I, I look forward to getting your feedback. Take care. And all the best. Bye-bye.